Hey, what's up guys for Colorado Sports in association with Life News? I'm Joe somewhere. With the silly season, also known as the transfer market, officially open in many of the major leagues, here at Waking Life in association with Colorado Sports, we will be bringing you this week's top five transfer stories. At number five, we have arguably South Africa's biggest football exports of all time, Steven Pienaar. The former Bafana Bafana captain has played for some of the biggest teams in Europe, including Dutch giant Ajax Amsterdam, where he started his European journey. Pienaar became a household name in England during his time at Everton and short stints at Tottenham and now relegated Sunderland. Mr. Pienaar has now gone from the bottom to the top by signing for PSL champions Bitvis Vist. After weeks of speculation linking him with the big three Pirates, Sundowns and Chiefs. Was that a smart move? Steven, you clever boy. At number four, we have Alexander Lacazette. The French international is now a gunner, also known as the Gooners. The player signed a five-year deal after his transfer from Lyon in the French league. Lacazette was a proven goal scorer for Ligue 1, both domestically and in European competitions. Arsene Wenger seems to have a strong sense of patriotism with his homeland, adding the club record signing to the French contingent, which includes Francis Coquelin, Olivier Giroud, and the club captain Laurent Koscielny. This is quite a coup from Senor Wenger, considering the lack of Champions League, and this transfer should be ranked high on our list, but we wouldn't want to deprive the goodness of their prized fourth spot. At number three, we decided on focusing on a team that has been very busy in the transfer market. The team in question is Everton Football Club. The Premier League team finished seventh place and have strengthened the spine of the team starting at the back with the signing of goalkeeper Jordan Pickford and centre-back Michael Keane. Pickford was by far Sutherland's best player last season and the £30 million move was a good deal for all parties involved. While former Burnley star Michael Keane reportedly rejected moves to the other Merseyside team, Liverpool and boyhood club Manchester United, citing that playing time was a factor for his reasoning. Other additions include midfielder David Klassen and of Ajax Amsterdam, strikers Sandro Ramirez and Henry Onyekuru, who signed from Malaga and FC Europen in Belgium, respectively. Numero dos, we look at the players who have returned to their boyhood clubs. Jermaine Defoe making his return to AFC Bournemouth on a three-year deal as a free agent and is joined by Nathan Ake, who had a stellar first half of the season for the Cherries before being recalled to the Chelsea bench, which seems to be where a lot of their academy players end up before getting loaned or sold. Barcelona decided to activate their buyback clause of Gerard Dallafeo, but this is more of a transaction as he couldn't cement a starting place at Everton. Therefore, he is highly unlikely to unseat the MSN combination. Wayne Rooney, at the time of this recording, has not been confirmed to be returning back to his boyhood club Everton. However, all signs are pointing to his imminent return. After becoming Manchester United's all-time goalscorer as well as England's all-time goalscorer, Rooney has not been at his best in recent seasons and now seems like a fresh start and a fresh challenge might be good for him. We have contemplated calling this episode Everton's Market as our number one spot also involves Everton. At the top of this recording, it's merely a rumor. However, this transfer sends shockwaves throughout the entire world when news came out that Everton have agreed for a 75 million pound bid from Manchester United for Romelu Lukaku. The shock does not come from the price of Lukaku as we think that he is a quality player so it's feasible for one of the richest clubs in the world. However, this deal just came out of the blue. No pun intended. As the paper talk was all about the Red Devils hot pursuit 
of Real Madrid frontman Alvaro Morata and Chelsea leading the race for Romelu Lukaku. If this deal happens as predicted, United fans might have another reason to love Agent Pogba, ah, who is good friends with Romelu Lukaku. That's all for now, but for more, make sure you subscribe to Karada Sports on YouTube as well as check out Waking Life Mag Media's Life News to stay updated on this and all of your transfer news and football news. For Life News, for Karada Sports, I'm Joe Tamboy.